And finally, engineering, report. I'll have the phaser emitters repaired by this time tomorrow, Captain. Very good, Mr. Scott. So, the war game exercises are postponed to 1,500 hours tomorrow. Dismissed. Let's go, Scotty. So, I heard Lieutenant Jenkins got a pretty bad burn when the phaser emitters blew out this morning. Yes, he's recovering just fine. But you know what they say. Everything happens for a reason. What do you mean? Lieutenant Jenkins was pretty mean to the people in his repair division. I don't think he had a kind word for a single engineer working for him. He got what was coming to him all right. You're probably right. He did treat his men unfairly on a number of occasions. Yep. What goes around comes around. I guess so. Excuse me, ladies. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, Mr. Spock? The argument you are employing, nurse, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the just world fallacy, a cognitive bias. I thought she was making pretty good sense. That may be so, Yeoman, but bias is affecting her judgment. The just world fallacy is a cognitive bias which contends that a person's actions are inherently inclined to bring morally fair and fitting consequences to that person. Thus, it is the assumption that all noble actions are eventually rewarded and all evil actions eventually punished. In other words, the just world hypothesis is the tendency to attribute consequences to, or expect consequences as a result of, a universal force that restores moral balance. This belief generally implies the existence of cosmic justice, destiny, divine providence, stability, and or order, and is often associated with a variety of fundamental fallacies, especially in regard to rationalizing people's suffering on the grounds that they deserve it. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Oh. I should reassess my thinking. That would be best. Even if it seems that one is thinking rationally, one must always strive to avoid giving in to cognitive biases such as the just world fallacy. These biases are systematic patterns of deviation from rationality and judgment, causing judgments to be made in an illogical fashion. Care must be taken to mitigate these biases to ensure proper reasoning. It's only logical.